In this application note, we will be simulating a SG2 program's operation using the SG2 software. We will simulate operation using the ladder view and the keypad view. For this example, we will be using a program written for the SG2-10HR-A using the SG2 client software version 3.4 along with the Windows 7 operating system. First, open the SG2 client software and open a new ladder logic program. Next, create a single rung program where the I01 input contact is connected to the Q01 output coil. First, we will talk about ladder view simulation. Select the simulator icon from the main toolbar. At this point, several simulation tool windows will open. The input status tool simulates the input contact state. The inactive state is normally open. Select I01, the switch window will turn red and the contact will close. When the I01 button is selected, the I01 contact shown in rung 1, column 1 will turn green indicating that I01 is active. This will activate the Q01 output turning the Q01 in rung 1, column 7, green. You have just simulated activation of input 1, which enables output 1, thus closing the contact points on the Q01 output. Now, select the I01 button from the input status tool window a second time. This will open the I01 contact. I01 and Q01 are now deactivated and shown in blue in rung 1. You have just simulated taking away the input 1 signal which has disengaged your output 1, thus deactivating the Q01 output. Next, we will talk about the keypad view simulation. First, from the main toolbar, select the keypad icon to change from the ladder view to the keypad view. The display will change to the keypad view. Select the simulator icon from the main toolbar. Several simulation tool windows will open. The keypad view shows switches connected to the I01 through I06 inputs and lamps connected to the Q01 through Q04 outputs. The power line to the inputs and outputs are shown in red. The status screen shows that the program is in the run mode. Based on our program, Enabling input 1 will activate output 1. Select input I01. The switch is now highlighted in red and the Q01 output is on and also highlighted in red. I01 and Q01 are now highlighted on the status screen of the SG2 showing that they are active. You have just simulated giving the input 01 signal which has engaged your output 01 thus closing the contact points on the Q01 relay. Select the input I01 once again. The I01 switch opens and is no longer highlighted. The Q01 lamp is no longer highlighted. I01 and Q01 are no longer highlighted on the status screen. You have just simulated taking away the input 1 signal which has disengaged output 1. You have now simulated a SG2 program using the ladder and keypad views using the SG2 software.